tell us how this all came about, you having a crack at, at coaching. Uh, yeah, I guess Horse asked me a couple of weeks ago to, to maybe think about it. and uh, So it's more about just uh, improving our leadership, um, at, I, I guess, as players in a leadership group. So, um, you know, seeing what the players see out on the field and then trying to bring that to what the coaches see as well and see if we're on the same page with things like that. So it's more about that for this week and, you know, a lot of the other leaders will be playing and, uh, you know, how we can filter that message to the to the group um, and, you know, help our, you know, you know, the way we speak to each other, um, just helping those types of things out. It's not an easy job though, is it? It's um, pretty high intensity stuff coaching a, an AFL team. Yeah, uh, look, yeah, it is. Um, you know, the, you know, all, all, all the coaches do a fantastic job, but, you know, NAB one's uh, more about learning and just getting our style of footy. You know, it's uh, fantastic. It'll be our first time, you know, playing as a group this year with a lot of young kids come in. So it'll be, uh, you know, a great opportunity for those guys. A way to ease a bit of frustration for you. Obviously, it's been a long, yeah. long summer in, on the bike and yeah. in the gym. Yeah, look, ideally, I'm not doing this, so that means I'm playing. So, um, but you know, being the one who's injured and all the other boys are playing, um, you know, I'm happy to uh, to fill that role for for this weekend. So, yeah, look, um, you know, very excited about it. Um, you know, the boys are obviously very excited about playing their first game for the year against Port Adelaide, a quality team which we respect highly. And um, yeah, it'll be an interesting night. No, not at all. It's just this week. Um, you know, we've got a lot of other other assistant coaches that will do their job, but this is more just for uh, for this week and just you know getting a sense of of what the players see out on the ground. You know, ultimately, it's what we do out on the ground that uh, you know can be wins and losses. Obviously, coaches make a lot of moves throughout the game, but in the end, it's the players on the field that um, are trying to organise and try and do different things to win the game as well. You got to pick which way. Uh, I think match committees this afternoon, but I mean NAB Cups always, you know who who's available, who's coming back from injury, game time, and all those types of things. So um, you know a lot of young blokes will get their opportunity, which is uh, fantastic, and um, you know get off to a good start. You'd want the best available though, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh look, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Look, it doesn't really matter to be honest. You know we're all, um, you know we want to transform our training transfer our training form into game form so that's what it's about for you know for nab one do you expect buddy to play yeah i think so look he played really well on friday night in the intra club so um you know how they want to you know i think we've got three games in five weeks so you know we'll see how that pans out but yeah i'm you know i'd say he'd play yeah do you think it's important for someone like him where he's at to have a good nab cup uh oh look he's a you know, he's a superstar player, he always plays well, it's rare that um, you know, he has a bad game. Um, but yeah, I think just for him personally, I, you, you know, I'm sure he wants to get out there and, and you know, play, you know, you know, just get back to playing footy again, uh, you know, which is you know, what he's good at. How is the knee and how far away do you think you will be? Yeah, look, I've ramped up my running over the last couple of weeks. I'll you know, back it off a little bit this week and then hopefully uh, ramp it up again. So, um, you know, it's been a slow process, but... Um, you know, it's more of a long-term fix than a uh, short-term. Was it slower than expected? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, still running at the moment, haven't trained, so you know, it's an one this week. So yeah, definitely a bit slower. Is this a pointer to a future in coaching for you? Uh, not really. You know, I've thought about it, but it's more about this week and the now. Um, you know, helping out our team and, um, as I said before, just looking for different ways to improve our leadership and, um, and, 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 you know, what we see out on the field and see if that correlates to what the coaches are seeing. And, and are the players going to have a go? Uh, uh, no, look, I don't think so. Not this year. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure the other assistants will take, uh, you know, the other NAB Cups. That's their job. You know, that's what they're here for. So we're not trying to uh, steal jobs or anything, but it's more about, you know, just what we see with our leadership. Anyone in particular that you need to settle a score with and give a bit of a spray on Saturday? You might just make something up. No, I'll be trying to stay calm. It's only nab one, so it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, maybe Kieran Jack will give him a couple. How are you expecting them to, to respond to you coaching? Oh, look, they're, you know, you know, they're fine. Um, you know, we're all in it together and working together, so I expect them to help me. You know, I'm not sure how it's going to pan out, but I've got the leadership group uh, guys there who will be kind of assistant coaches on the day and um, while they're playing. So I'll be trying to filter the information to them to get to the boys um, so we can sort out problems ourselves.
You fire out a few orders on the uh, on the field anyway. So do you think this won't be too much of a transition? It'll just be the other side of the boundary line. Oh, look, it's probably not ideal that you can't be out there, but um, you, know, you have to change that type of um, you know the way you you go about things, I guess. Um, you know, I think as you get older, you have to temper those expectations sometimes. But I think the beauty of this is. Um, you know, we'll learn how to how different people react in different situations. So, you know, it's about being comfortable, being uncomfortable. So that's what we've you know really tried to think about this preseason. You sound reluctant to call yourself a coach, understandably, but it takes some convincing to, to get you to agree. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Look, I didn't want it to seem disrespectful to Port Adelaide and stuff like that because that's not you know what it's about. We're actually we think it's more important uh, doing it this way. Um, you know, for our playing group. Um, so those types of things, you know, I wanted to get across. But um, yeah, look, I'm going to enjoy it. Obviously, I, you know, I don't want to be here. I want to be playing. But um, no, but I'm excited, definitely. Do you have any idea or plan for your comeback game? Was it week by week? Uh, yeah, definitely week by week. So um, the goal's always been round one. But um, you know, this week will probably tell a good story. How many games do you think you would need? be match fit, I guess, if you have, can get one in before the season? Or? Uh, well, I didn't play last year at all, and I played round two, so um, I think, fortunately, playing 14, or I guess having 14 pre-seasons under your belt, um, you know, can count for a bit of experience, so um, I'm not too concerned about, uh, you know, that type of stuff, um, but yeah, look, at, you know, I'm definitely taking it one week at a time and, um, and, and just seeing how the knee pulls up every week. Can we ask you about injuries or anything? You don't have that info? Uh, yeah, Sam Reid just tightened up on Friday. Yeah. how he is. I'm not too sure. I haven't seen him. We had yesterday off with our three-day break, so I haven't seen him this morning. But, um, yeah, look, I'm sure you got a scan and stuff like that, and uh, we'll see this week. But we don't need to take any risks with anyone. Early signs are really great, but when can we really start to get excited about Buddy? Oh, now, you know, we're all excited, you know, it's fantastic to see him training, you know, this has been the best preseason he's had since he's been at the Swans, so uh, he's done most of the sessions, came back fit and firing and, uh, yeah, so he played the NAB Cups and then hopefully, you know, leading into a big season. Is it the fittest he's been, given that he's done the workload, or you'd expect that he'd be? Uh, here, definitely, you know, obviously, you know, at Hawthorne he was, uh, you know, he would have had some, uh, you know, great preseason, but definitely this year's the best preseason he's had here, so, um, you know, so it's great to see. Thank <laughs> you.